okay so hello guys uh, and welcome to the stream and so today um, the plan for the today live stream is to um, just test out the the GraphQL uh, SQLize and Node.js so I'm uh, just uh, you, you can say that I'm just uh, you know uh, learning that uh, how GraphQL and SQLize work and on top of that uh, I mean at the back end I'm using Node.js just to um, kickstart the, the database and I have been doing uh, two or three live streams uh, so you can just uh, watch the live stream if you want I mean the recorded video uh, but uh, there haven't been you know uh, major progress uh, only few things I, I was able to do uh, because I was earlier stuck into this error um, basically the error was that I was trying to refer a, a model into the refer, referring another model uh, so I can just show you like what I was trying to say so earlier I have uh, created an uh, reference to the user model that uh, that an that an uh, creator of an event will be the user so that's why I was storing the ID of the user into that event uh, over here uh, something like this as a creator and storing uh, the data as a maybe an object ID something like that so that time it wasn't working uh, so I was a trying to trying different ways searching the docs or even searching online or asking my friends but uh, still there wasn't any proper solution um, so, so I just uh, uh, so I just uh, end the live stream over there and I started working on some other project so we are back in and so, so let's see how we go back and uh, deal with the problem but uh, before that I just want to share an update that um, I did some digging in the docs again and I found out that we can use this uh, things uh, like has one or belong to so these are called association uh, in SQLize so uh, let's see if this works so here is the user.js uh, earlier I uh, tried to use validation uh, but it didn't work I don't know I, uh, it's uh, outputting some kind of an error I mean I, I'm uh, inputting the correct value based on the validation uh, but it's still not working so validation is not very uh, important thing as compared to the uh, to uh, creating a reference to the database so which is more important and by the way guys let me know like how is the live stream and if there's any problem uh, just shoot the message in the chat I will try my best to fix it Okay, so I'm just checking that uh, like I'm using a tool to live stream on multiple platforms so I'm just making sure that I'm live on every platform where I'm trying to like being live okay so I'm live on this platform okay let's check on other platform also Okay, I'm also live on YouTube. That's great. Let's check other platform also.
okay so i'm live on twitch also perfect perfect Just want to give you a brief, brief interview that uh, what changes did I make uh, like I like as I told you that I did some digging in the docs um, so basically uh, I was able to uh, do this modification uh, like as I told you earlier that I have added uh, has one method and has many method so over here I'm trying to add that uh, the even schema uh, this one uh, has a user uh, I mean uh, since the user will be the owner of the a event which he or she will create so in that means uh, that the owner the creator of the event will be the user and, and I'm storing that uh, as a user ID over here and again uh, there's another uh, uh, association uh, which uh, where I'm saying that uh, there will be a user which uh, have have many events so uh, basically uh, i was uh, uh, i was trying to store a multiple event id as an uh, array so over here but earlier I, I also thought that maybe instead of um, you know uh, storing the um, the event as an uh, json object i can just store their uh, event id from there then i can uh, make an, another uh, query and then uh, get the data uh, whichever is necessary so that I that uh, was a better option instead of storing all the data because uh, it it will just uh, you know occupy unnecessary space. So we don't want that. We just want to store the ID itself. So that is what I'm trying to do over here. Yeah. And. Uh, yeah last thing I want to say that I have uh, made few modification uh, to the uh, to the create user and the create event uh, met, uh, this method uh, which I have created over here uh, like I have just uh, de defined and create user and then returning the uh, using promise I'm using promises and I'm returning uh, first of all I'm just finding the user that if there is a user already exists uh, then it will throw an error that a user already exists uh, if it doesn't then uh, we can create a new user I think I need to add a then block over here Okay, so at least uh, it is uh, building a connection to the database. Uh, that's good. That's good. Uh, I'm still not sure that uh, I should first try this or not because uh, I uh, since I ma made few modification to this code, I'm still not sure that this code will work or not.
let me change the music Okay, so let me do the testing. So it is showing a relation user doesn't exist. We are creating a user. I mean, we are already creating a user over here. Then a relation user doesn't exist. So okay, what does it mean? Let's see now. Create table if not exist user. Okay, it is here. Reference event on the table delete. Okay, so over here it is. So it is showing a created event uh, which will be an array of text. Well, I think this is what it is trying to say. So, what's the error now? A relation events does not exist. Okay, relation events does not exist. Relation even does not exist. So I am not using any relations over here. So it is in user uh, relation. Okay, event uh, does not exist. Relation event. Okay, okay, okay. I think so I, I, I think I get it. So it, it is trying to say that. Uh, the problem is over here I mean to say that uh, it is not able to figure out the event that uh, but it can be an empty array uh, let me see uh, allow null true I mean if we can allow it null means uh, the value can be empty uh, if possible
let me try with the uh, create event so what that we got over here relation user that doesn't exist uh, so the problem is that I think uh, since I'm uh, creating a relation uh, with each other that event is uh, connected to user and user is connected to uh, event and since uh, in both of them uh, the value one of the value is empty so that's why I think it is not able to build the relation because uh, when we create a user uh, in that uh, it reads the schema and uh, check if there is any uh, created event and then uh, try to store that and try, try to store the event id since there is no event id so i think then it crashes what we get how to pretend someone doesn't exist sequelize narration uh, does not exist relation association there The decent art has been a uh, post SQL store so that the screen test as opposed to the representation if the simple uh, if you simply want to store the issue as a single representation. Jason feed of time. That's fine, yeah. 
that's cool. I'm able to use you guys to do any sort of manipulative treatment as well. I'm not able to do it as far as I can do it. I'm not able to do it as well. So create table ID, normal password module, okay, title, content, created at update. So why he is using this one? I don't know, like because in uh, like I was saying that uh, in SQLize uh, we don't have to create this because it uh, SQLize automatically automatically create the create the created at and update you will have to create those
Now why it is saying that uh, user does not exist? Relation users does not exist. So uh, it is saying uh, I have to find a long term true. It can be null. I am just not uh, setting the relation with the event schema in the user. Wait a second, it has user. Okay, 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 okay. I think I got it. No, no, wait, wait. So, I am trying to build the has one and so the user okay. Instead of creating the event, I need to create the user. Okay, so it worked perfectly. Nice. But why it doesn't work when I enable the... When I enable it, that time it doesn't work. So, uh, so the problem is inside the relation itself. When I build the relation. Check the database. It is working perfectly. So I can even create another user. Let's uh, check that it google.com and then uh, password is this is safe password. And this is nice. And if I create a user. It worked perfectly. You see the email test at google.com, and this is a safe password. So it worked perfectly. Let me just test with the database view. Come on. See, here's the two uh, tables. So we got the created uh, event with the text. It is an empty array. Uh, yeah, I think it should be. So uh, it will be an array. So when uh, when we create an event, okay. So when we will create an event, that time. It, it, will work okay so this is this here yeah. let me check the events also it should be empty okay that's strange enough the timestamp it's five minutes ago
so i will uh, wait a second date to create it so if the creator okay so it didn't store the id okay uh, here's the event and description to it creator The type will be, uh, I think it will be a string. Uh, it should be a str uh, no, no, it would be an integer. Yeah, because, yeah, it will be an integer because we are getting the the user ID. Okay. Now since uh, we both have the event and the user also, uh, now we sh uh, should not get any error and it should work perfectly. It crashed. Name collision attribute creator and okay. So, so will it create automatically? Okay, that's fine. That's fine. No issues. If you can create automatically, that's fine for me. I have no issues. Let me just press confirm that creator okay so we got the user id second but now let's see create event mutation because the content okay so we got an error user is not defined okay find by id has been depreciated uh, please use uh, model dot find by pk user is not defined that's strange okay so over here user is not defined So uh, what I'm trying over here is that uh, so first of all I'm defining the user ID uh, over here that this is the creator and this is the ID so and uh, currently I'm just temporarily uh, saving the ID as string but later on I will um, pass the ID as a as a HTTP response that it will be uh, append in the in the background request when the user will submit uh, you know even say that it uh, when the user will authenticate using login stuff so that time uh, it will be saved but currently i'm just doing it this way and then i'm just uh, returning the so i'm currently just returning the 
returning the data uh, like after saving it to the database and then getting the result and then uh, I'm saving the user uh, find by ID so I'm finding it by ID after saving it to the database user dot find by okay so let me just see find by pk Find by PK. So I am passing it a, it a string and the value of the desired position is uh, prime degree. So, uh, so I am passing uh, the primary key that is the user ID and then I am saving the create event uh, variable to this uh, whatever the result I am returning uh, in the result parameter I am passing it as an object and then uh, okay I am saving it and then uh, if user exists if user is true I think I need to console out this value let me see like what uh, what does it contain I don't even know like uh, it, 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 is it a return a boolean or uh, maybe a string or maybe a json object I'm not even sure so I need to refresh okay uh, we did get some kind of error user already exists okay error in great event wait 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 i think it's very confusing Reading the logs is kind of a toughest part because all the content just gets get mixed. <coughs> okay. Okay, so this is the error. Uh, executing greeting table. Okay, blah blah blah. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Executing default. No, we don't want that. No error in create event. So where did I define this? I I don't remember defining this one. Okay, yeah, <laughs> I did define it. Yeah. User or uh, user user already exist. Okay, so if the user exists, then I think it should save. Yeah, here it is. User ID too. Okay, so I think we are going the right path. Okay, so now we land over here. Where we need to uh, push uh, the event ID. So we did created the
uh, let me see so these are the user this is the event okay so it doesn't have the creator ID because I have disabled that time yeah so it cannot add a new column to the table until unless we delete the table and uh, start over again <coughs> but I think we can do that we can we can do that <coughs> we just don't have to delete the user uh, table just finger crossed that it doesn't uh, crash this time okay uh, okay we can just go for this one only uh, we have the user id over here the creator id Uh, I'm not sure over here that if this will work or not uh, because I'm pushing the pushing to the user dot create event as an array and I just want to push the event ID uh, event I just want to save the user ID. Yeah. Uh, let me see. Like, what is the way to save the data to the I mean push the data to the table instead of uh, because we have already uh, hit the database uh, save the data inside it so this time we just need to push it to the specific uh, specific uh, object see uh, push no we don't have any stuff uh, array dot push no so we get an uh, public method data type here we have already done that uh, Where do we use I mean monitor cast no we can use that also add column yeah 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 we do want to add yeah that's it yeah we want to add the column no uh, wait a second we don't want to add or do we uh, no. <laughs> because we have all I think we have already created the column uh, like uh, as we can see over here yeah we have already created a column uh, with this uh, created event we just want to push the value of the specific event we created so that uh, how we can do table name okay It returns a promise. 
I think uh, most of the SQL code is based on the returning the promise only. So, so instead of just uh, pushing the data to the user uh, database, I will just try to console log the value just to see uh, if we get because uh, we have saved the entry to the to the event database, and after saving the entry, we should get the event ID. And first of all, we need to make sure that we do get the event ID. Took a while to figure out uh, it was which. Okay, <laughs> yeah, binary. Okay, uh, yeah, uh, I think yeah. Sorry about that. Yeah, it was Twitch TV. <laughs> yeah, my bad. Sorry. Yeah, thanks. Okay, so finally, I just want to. Uh, I hope, like, uh, like I think you, I think you might have joined recently. So I just want to share an update that uh, the problem uh, was basically in the relation database. That when I was trying to build a relation between the database itself, so that's why it was showing that replace error, which I have told you earlier. Uh, so these are the two relations which I'm trying to build. Uh, the the problem which I'm still facing is that, uh, for example, just uh, take an example that we are um, deploying a new database from scratch, and that time uh, we don't have any database or any table. I mean, we don't have any uh, tables. So if we uh, run the application that time, uh, it might not work uh, and it might output an error because since both event and uh, user are, you can say, interconnected to each other, that uh, when we create a user, uh, we have an uh, creator created event array which will store the event ID uh, whenever an event will be created. And on the other hand, uh, there will be a uh, uh, creator um, there will be a creator uh, in, over here where it will store the creator ID. So, in, so first of all, we cannot create an event first of all because uh, if there will be no user, then it will not be able to store the uh, creator ID. That's obvious. Uh, but on the other hand, if I first first try to create the user, that time it outputs an error, which I'm still figuring out that why it is creating an, uh, creating an error. 
um, but uh, just to I'm just keeping that error for a side uh, and uh, I'm first of all doing other stuff that uh, maybe you know uh, that it should uh, push the value to the create event whenever I create a new event uh, I hope like I have mentioned everything Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm not sure like even why that uh, er error is even happening because uh, since uh, even though both the schema uh, are connected to each other uh, it shouldn't uh, output an error because uh, over here uh, like you can see uh, I have set the uh, allow null to true that it can be null uh, I mean the, uh, the value uh, can be empty or null so I think it shouldn't output any error because uh, it is possible that uh, there can be an empty uh, uh, value also or an empty data in a specific uh, column so it shouldn't uh, output the error so uh, another thing is that uh, just to you know uh, just to avoid this error of this relation database i have to literally disable this uh, this relation to get started then only it works And another thing I just noticed that uh, it is not showing the creator column in the event database. Let me first run the query. Okay, user already exists. That makes sense. So, oh, no, but if the user already exists uh, so am I doing something wrong over here okay let me uh, I can console out this value Okay. Um, maybe we can try this. Uh, so uh, binary. Uh, currently, I'm trying to get the event ID just to make sure that we actually get the event ID after we save the event in the database. Uh, then we get the event ID. So currently I'm doing that part over here. Okay, so we get the event ID. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Just a second. Now I'm getting confused because uh, the creator, I mean the user ID was also two, and the event ID is also showing two also. Let me try again. It should output three now. Okay, yeah. So, so that works perfect. Thumbs up for that. Um, we have just tackled a minor problem. Yeah, and now we definitely need that you no know, pop music for that thing. Nice. Okay, uh, so now we just need to push that uh, entry uh, to the created event. And uh, let me see if it also shows. Created event. Now I'm not getting it. Uh, so I have defined a uh, creator, but it is showing created event integer I think the problem is in the relation only
like uh, as you can see over here that uh, over here also it, it is showing created event text which should be uh, that this is also uh, what I have defined in the in the schema but this shouldn't happen because it should show creator uh, and integer yeah that's possible Uh, as meant I think I just need to still uh, read uh, read the docs again uh, first of all when I uh, read the docs that time it was very confusing just to you know digest this thing that uh, it was it was very confusing that uh, which part should uh, relates to which thing or how goes from one thing to another <laughs> I think I am still missing something from that part I'll just show you like what I was trying to say okay where are the okay, associations okay so in the starting it looks simple that uh, it like belongs to foreign key or target key that's fine but uh, after then it starts to get a bit complicated and over here it shows the difference between has one and belong to so over here it gets a bit complicated and it's hard to even understand yeah like over here the player belong to team player has one team so I think uh, it is possible that I have missed something Uh, has one okay uh, okay so over here it is saying that when information about association is present in the target model we can use has one in this case coach is suitable uh, for has one because team model store information about it coach as coach ID and this is what we are doing over here uh, over here that even schema is storing the data I mean uh, storing all the data uh, for this uh, event itself and then we are storing that data in the in the user schema as an uh, as create okay wait a second I don't think so we need to define foreign key over here now because we just need to add an another column Uh, event uh, wait a second has many <laughs> it's even started confusing me again has many so you can even see yourself there are too many things belongs to has many uh, then too many association and belong to many association so it's even uh, complicated to digest everything okay here it is a uh, country has many city foreign key uh, will be the country code over here and source key will be this one Okay, the, the source itself. Okay, I think I haven't defined the source key then. Belongs to. Okay, if if that can work, I I can't just uh, tell you that what will happen. Just I I'm, I'll be too happy, you know. <laughs> okay, let's see if that works. Has many. Uh, 
foreign key okay that's that's correct source key as even wait 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 so we got city uh user will have many events okay then uh the form will be the okay that's correct so uh wait a second we need city belongs to sorry about that city belongs to country uh, target code is is so code let me try this one i just don't want to indulge in this thing because uh, okay so over here like uh, as i told you that uh, this part is complete uh, where we are uh, getting the event id that's nice all we need to is to store that event id uh, my i okay uh, as event we don't have to find this uh, target key we just said target key should be we need to store the event code as a it is driving me nuts i'm still not able to figure out by the way binary are you there in the stream uh, like uh, can you help me out with this part uh, it's getting complicated for me when information about association is present in the source when we link into models uh, we can refer as a pairs of source and target models okay that's fine pairs as source Team at target. Okay, the present in source model. We can use. Belongs to. In the case a player is suitable for belong to. In this case, because uh, it has team ID, 
similar to we have event id which we want to store into the event wait wait yeah we have a user id which you want to store into the event okay it will be user belong to event team id will be added to player source model Okay, let's try this one. Uh, we have even schema belong to belongs to. Belongs to okay. Then I need to define the foreign key, uh, it will be the ID of the user itself, and I can define it as a creator. Makes sense. Now I don't want to delete the tables now because <laughs> I don't want to delete the tables now. just hope so it works this time so first of all I will create the user itself yeah it looks nice uh, we got email and a password yeah let me refresh so we have build the relation correct and even schema belongs to user okay let's see okay that's nice uh, in the first try it did create the database table nice that's nice I wasn't expecting this okay it did create it a, a created event column with the, all the stuff so this looks nice I will again create a new user it will be uh, okay live stream at the rate twitch okay password yeah that's fine i'll create a new user wow now that's perfect uh since we don't have any credit event it should i mean it should be blank that's obvious now let's try to create an event wow that's the best day ever wow so we created the database table without any error a big thumbs up let's send the thumbs up to the chat oh let me verify first of all i'm just enjoying myself now and let me first of all verify that even it did work or not okay it did work we still need to work on the on the creator id not bad but the fun thing is that um, it did create the database table without any showing any error which happened for the first time not bad so we deserve a 
a big thumbs up so i'll send a big thumbs up in the chat yeah big thumbs up yeah guys a big thumbs up And now uh, we are getting the what was that again uh, it was okay so it was the event ID which we are getting uh, so user why it is saying user already exist okay so I need to work on the here yeah, that's fine uh, yeah so yeah yeah got it got it so user does this now let me make it 10 over here let's see if it works now okay okay yeah so yeah, that's fine you user already exists no that doesn't make any sense Okay, I still need to work on this part. Created event integer. Wait a second, wait a second. I think I'm missing something. Where is the association? By def uh, default, the foreign key for a belong to relation be generated for the target model name and the target primary key name. The default Casing is camo case, however, if the source model is configured with underscore true, okay. Uh, so, what is the use of foreign key? Okay, it is saying uh, by default the foreign key for the belong to relation will be generated from the target model name. Okay. Okay, uh, wait a second. No, I think I'm a bit understanding. We don't need this. We need over here and yeah, something like this. Now I think we I need to create the event database table again. Okay, so let me now. Uh, so I have deleted the event database table. Now we need to make sure that it creates a creator column, and it should uh, set the target ID 
to the user ID. <coughs> Let's see. I will refresh the page again. Let me modify these values. No, I'm kind of bored uh, seeing this value now. So, what should be the description? Uh, description. This is a test event using GraphQL plus SQLize with Node.js yeah makes sense and we can set the event title to GraphQL plus SQLize okay that's fine okay so it did create the database table And we are still getting that created event column I don't get it like why it is still showing that Wow you see that guys now that's what we want Wow so that's what we want now it worked perfectly it worked perfectly but still we have an extra column that's fine I can deal with that later on or I think it might be because of this has many yeah it is possible but I, I will leave that later on okay it worked it uh, saved the creator ID as an integer that's nice let me try it again also let me tell binary ok nice Nice, nice, nice. <laughs> so it worked perfectly. <laughs> now we need to see. Now I think we don't even need that also now. Yeah. I w uh, wait a second now. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We we need that. Yeah. We are just saving the. So in the event we are just saving the uh, creator ID now so that part is done now we need to save the event ID into the uh, into the user database table uh, I, I can build the relation possible Uh, but uh, we need to make sure that uh, it so I think I need to use hooks that uh, after creating the table and then it should implement yeah so if that is possible uh, I don't even have to use all this code but wait 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 uh, so if no no that thing cannot work because if we use that uh, when the uh, okay so I will just explain you what I'm trying to say now uh, so first of all I was thinking that I will uh, use hooks uh, to that there there is a hook called uh, after creating let me show you that where is that hook now Okay, here is a button. 
Okay, okay, here it is, here it is, yeah. Okay, so here it is. So I was thinking that I will use after create that once the database has been created, once the user database has been created, then I will uh, add similar query that uh, it will belong to stuff like that, blah, blah, blah. But uh, in that case, we need to uh, make sure of certain things that the user who is creating uh, the event should uh, be authentic and all that uh, logging is stuff. So we need to take care of that stuff also. Uh, and uh, we cannot just uh, add an uh, event ID just after the database has been created because it only does that that after creating the instance it runs that hook which we don't want have to be happened yeah so ultimately we end up in this thing where if the user is true let me return just user and see what data do we get in the user so currently we just get this thing a class extend model class extend model user uh, we need to make sure that uh, the the user is okay so if the user exists then only it returns some data mm, but why it is showing 10 over here is the user is this 10 over here? No, it doesn't. So why? So why it is showing a user ID 10 over here? Like see over here, why it is showing that? That shouldn't supposed to happen. Okay, the, uh, we can deal with that problem later on. Now we will focus on saving the event ID to the user. Uh, over here, it can work very easily. Uh, I think I should use, uh, or maybe, no, I shouldn't use that. Yeah. because the database has uh, all uh, already have been created and it has been uh, i mean it has been created so we cannot recreate uh, every time whenever we want to modify it so we need to we need to push the value to the array and we uh, instead of pushing all the event data we can just push the event id uh, because uh, that only we need Later on, if we want the event data, we can just uh, fetch using you know, find by uh, pk, I mean the id, and then we can do that. It's no big deal. Let me first of all see like what to, what, uh, what kind of data do we get over here. that's where we are just getting the user that shouldn't supposed to happen it, it, it's like that it is just returning the string itself then the user text no that shouldn't supposed to happen uh, First of all, we need uh, we have uh, verified that the user is the same from which we get the request, and this is what we did over here. Uh, this part, <laughs> I know it's not very uh, solid stuff. Like it's not proper way to do it. Uh, I'm just uh, getting started with the basic stuff, and then later on we can add all the authentication stuff. That part can be done later on also. So 
how should we push the value to the create event column uh, we cannot use associations instances ok let's see how to push data to sequelize column how to have a sequelize model excluding fields So is there any um, update method? I wasn't aware of that. Transparent model public method. Okay, so we have uh, save. Yeah, we are using that. We don't want to save uh, that row instead we want to just update the specific column or the specific id Looking at sequence docs, I find how to specify what field I want to but I want to specify what. Hmm. 
now I want that thing only. What things I want to update here? But how do I do that? <coughs> Okay, let's see. Update. Public method. We don't want to rename the table, rename function, no, we don't want rename column, we also don't want that. No, it's not very helpful also. Get all your fields and then exclude the one you don't want my model dot update if you were asking and you should where did I get this it's not in the doc continue reading some tail while I uh, while I really like C plus I admit that the reference lacks some yeah that's true uh, like I have I have read the docs and uh, it's not very helpful a lot of stuff they are missing they still need to work on the docs also I mean the SQLize is a very awesome very helpful and uh, it really cut down the a lot of stuff we do using uh, whatever database you are using maybe postgresql or mysql uh, because uh, in those things if you use directly uh, maybe mysql so in that you have to write the query directly in the javascript code uh, but using uh, sqlize you can just type uh, javascript and uh, all the tough work is done by sqlize all the query running uh, is run by sqlize so you don't have to deal with any of the stuff the fact that uh, find by pk internally calls find one which intentionally call find all that means uh, the option object pass to find all also okay unfortunately upgrade method doesn't handle option uh, object same as find a uh, family of functions uh, below is how update hand options Uh, fields to exclude since you import you will not uh, 
and Object pass uh, to find all options. Clarify find one more way. It doesn't matter your options. Really? I wasn't aware of that. So uh, remove values that are not in the options field. Uh, if this 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 uh, for this K okay, else. On the other hand, find function eventually go through the option uh, which will call Luxman attributes as follows. I can't even find the update method. Where is the update method dropper schema? Observe. No, we don't want that also. It should be inside model only because model dot bit or model dot area. Find all find all account by PK. Okay, yeah, here it is. Update value object option object promise array of perfect count perfect row uh, update multiple instances that patch the op weird options. Okay, makes sense. Oh. Okay. Update multiple instances that match the where option, the promise return an array with one or two elements. Okay, so it will return the first element is the number of affected rows, while the second is, act is the actual affected row. Only supporting PostgreSQL, PostgreSQL, okay, with options of returning true. You see over here, like it is showing uh, with a bracket, so it's not uh, sure that like uh, this thing uh, with the with the brackets is part of this one, or it's a separate thingy. So, man, uh, man, uh, writing docs is very boring, but uh, on the other hand, uh, it is also a very important part. There's a friend of mine uh, who, uh, like, I was watching his live stream. So that that time he was just uh, writing the docs uh, and uh, again like uh, writing docs is very important but uh, also he was very bored and tired and he was also angry also that oh god I have to just write all the documentations man so <laughs> it's it's unbelievable. Okay, let's see how it works. Uh, update away. Like they don't even have shown any examples like how to do. Let's dig in the docs and see how and if anything else we can find. Like I need an example that how we can do it. 
change default column name select how to order column in nested now okay so uh, let me just filter the chat how no not chat i mean filter the search how to update column in sequels Okay, uh, update uh, user age where id is 1 to 3. Model uh, dot user dot update age sequelized dot call yeah, where dot okay. So then we can use promises uh, using uh, then or catch user dot increment a notice that the user should be an instance, not the model. So you should first do model dot user find. okay so like as you can see over here it is just showing uh, update with the brackets and the, the parameters want to add like the values uh, which is an object and then option which is an object so they are not uh, even uh, saying that like which one should be the like how even how they are not even showing the example like for example we, we are trying to add maybe uh, like just take an example of our project only um, hey uh, drop z bait how are you okay so as i was saying that uh, like we are trying to uh, modify the the creator table i'm good to how are you i'm fine i'm just uh oh. <laughs> I'm just working on my project uh, so where uh, I'm trying to learn uh, GraphQL and SQLize and uh, on the back end I'm using Node.js so uh, there are a few things I'm just working on uh, uh, in the meantime we have also uh, resolved few errors so there has been a, a lot of progress also so we are going in a, a good path that uh, we are able to create a database after destroying it and uh, after creating the database we are getting not any not a single error so it's a big step forward and now we are just uh, trying to save this uh, event id in, uh, into a into the database uh, after creating it uh, i have decided to learn javascript yesterday but i'm already stuck yeah i understand that uh well first of all um congress on um, you know that you have planned to learn javascript so a big uh, you know you can say a thumbs up to that that uh, you should learn javascript and it's a very awesome language and it's, uh, and top of that it's a, it's a basic language uh, you can say html css and javascript these are the three basic building blocks of the website so you should uh, learn javascript and uh, even though if you find it difficult to learn so so just don't let your guard down stick with it uh, if there are any you know problems or questions uh, there are many uh, online resources to learn um, maybe the best option is if you have any question just search on stack overflow i'm sure you will find the relevant answer to your question uh, yeah um, but i'm always stuck at, i'm not sure like what you're trying to say over here uh, i'm always stuck at uh, I am oh, like what is that like are you trying to say that you are stuck with some kind of an image okay let's see over here okay so let's take this and let's copy it and try it Uh, so we got user dot update. Yeah, we want to update. Uh, I need to link my script tag in HTML to JavaScript file because in there I have my prompts, but it doesn't work. Okay, so it is possible that uh, you might have. So there are different possible reasons that why you are getting that error. 
so the first reason is that uh, you might have placed your JavaScript file in the wrong directory and another thing is that uh, you might be not able to link the script file into your HTML code properly uh, so I'll just show you an example uh, okay let me set the HTML okay so just taking a simple example that we are writing a script tag So this is a script tag where we uh, write the uh, script JavaScript directly inside the HTML and uh, if you want to link to a script uh, file uh, so then you do this okay yeah we need to close that also okay so something like this uh, but uh, important part over here is that you need to make sure that uh, you are entering the relevant path or the absolute path the spelling is correct okay so uh, for the relevant path you start with the with the dot and the forwards forward slash and then you can type app.js or maybe uh, if you're using the name script.js so you can type that or if you're using absolute path uh, I, I first of all I don't recommend using absolute path uh, that might be a bit difficult to understand uh, so I suggest you go with the relevant path only Uh, I don't get any error or anything. Uh, you can, uh, if you're not uh, seeing any error on the on the on the screen itself, you can inspect it in the console. Uh, uh, there's a, a tool called Dev Tools, uh, which is built inside the Chrome itself. If you're using Chrome, if you're using Mozilla, um, I think it they also have a similar Dev Tools. Yeah. yeah so I hope uh, like. Uh, everything I've said is helpful to you just let me know if you find it helpful or maybe anything else I can help you with fail to uh, okay so he's saying uh, fail to load a resource file account yeah so as I told you so that means the path I typed is wrong. Yeah, so it's obvious that the path uh, you have typed might be wrong. Or uh, like as I told you, uh, just try using the relevant path with the dot and the forward slash. I'll send it in the chat. So something like this, you can try. It should work. Uh, you you are on absolute legend. I don't even know. Like, Oh my god, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you for the follow Roxy Bait. Yeah, so uh, like again, uh, DevTools is very helpful. Uh, you can say it's a, a lifeline for the developers. Even if you're uh, if you're using doing any JavaScript work, uh, the DevTools is a handy thing. Even if you're doing maybe CSS or any development part, Dev tools is very important thing. Yeah, glad I I could be helpful to you. By the way, uh, you can even join my Discord server if you are using Discord. You are most welcome to join. Um, you can even ask me questions over there if you want. Okay, we got aged. Uh, so we need to update the. No, I think. Yeah, we need to update the create event table. Uh, SQLize dot. where id okay yeah
so we need to update uh, the create event table uh, with the event id where the event where the id is So again, I have to use the static ID over here, uh, which is 10. No, no, it's not 10, it's 2. Okay, so I also now we edit like why it was saying that error earlier. Over here. Okay, yes, you see, uh, over here it was showing 10. So it was earlier finding the ID by 10. So that's why. But now we have fixed that error. Okay, um, I think it's correct now. No, we let uh, this one. Then we save the user into the database, or do we even need to do that? Uh, like, let's see. We can uh, directly do the. We can directly return the. Value. But we are not getting the value. We are just updating the. We can try that. Let's see what happens. Uh, we will just save the user to the database. Okay, so there's option uh, there's option where uh, to describe the scope of the search. Okay, fields uh, to update defaults all fields. No, we don't want to update all the fields. Okay. Side effect uh, where or where not operate to side effect okay in which you hook uh, returning return the affected row default limit how many rows to update <coughs> logging benchmark the updated timestamp will not be updated we do want that uh, yeah, yeah, we, we do want that where it is. Yeah, we do want that. Silent true. I hope it's correct. Uh, so we got the value and the object and the options and again the object okay 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 so we got the fields something like this So let's test it over here. We can uh, modify the stuff later on. Uh, 
it okay. Let me just check the the database table. So it is created event. <coughs> I was even using the, the wrong name. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on a second. Create event. Uh, create event. Okay, here it can be it can be created event and then uh, here it can be just a second guys Okay, I am back. So, uh, so I have changed it to create event. So now everything is messed up. Uh, this dot, everything is messed up now. Let me do it. <coughs> and do what was that? So uh, I can change this to create event. Or I can just change the variable name only. Uh, return create uh, created event. Okay, yeah, that's fine. let's see if it works now it is connecting to the database it is connected to the database that's good uh, let me check the the database table so currently it is empty uh, so uh, uh, so once it works it should update the value over here
so now i need to create the event a new event uh, which should, uh, which should update the no no, no wait 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 <coughs> sorry so uh, once i will create a new event it will update this one uh, it should update this row uh, and it should update this column let's see okay let me check if the okay the user is to user id and let me refresh and hit run okay that's obvious it's never uh, even uh, you say possible to get the result in the first try you try uh, in the first try when you try new things that's that's obvious uh, okay saying user dot save is not a function depreciation warning custom inspect uh, function on object via inspected depreciation is there anything which is working everything is depreciated over here oh, one second guys i will be just back in few minutes So guys, uh, I think it's now time for me to eat the dinner. I will just pause my live stream and uh, thank you guys for uh, staying with me. Uh, I'll be just back soon after eating my dinner and okay, I will just back in maybe um, 20 minutes or more. Uh, okay, so I will just back in a few minutes. Okay, I will see you.
Okay guys, hello, I am back. Okay, hello, we are back. So I was just checking messages on my Twitch and where were we? Uh, okay, so we got an error saying that user.save is not a function. And uh, we are not sure that why uh, that error appeared. Because in user, where it is? Okay, so over here uh, I'm using the similar concept. Uh, so it should work. Yeah, so it should work, uh, but it is not working, which is very strange. So let's see. <clears throat> uh, I think we don't have to do. Uh, let me first uh, check the database. Maybe uh, there might be only problem with the with the same function. Now it is not responding. Wow, now it is just crashed.
okay so it didn't work okay makes sense uh, but um, I'm not sure that we need to save uh, I mean run the save function only this can also work Okay, let's try now. Okay, I think and now it did work. Let's see. No, but it is not updating the. Okay, so it's uh, something is wrong with the custom inspect function on object via inspect is depreciated no I'm not sure about that thing depreciation warning custom inspect function custom inspect function hmm. so I hope uh, this query is this content inside this query is perfect because uh, I did read the docs and it does show like the wear over here okay I think uh, the problem is that uh, there should be uh, only two uh, arguments the value and the options but over here I have I don't have the yeah, okay so what should be inside values I'm not sure that Okay, so uh, like it says uh, it should be an ob object with options we got fields and not working
so something is not working over here properly <coughs> now let me search this problem query over here custom expression function on object is not working So what is not working now? This is the custom function. So this issue is still open. That's strange. Delays now. Okay, so this uh, problem is from the SQLite itself. Hmm. So I think uh, until unless the problem is resolved, uh, I might not be able to use that thing.
You probably want to put it in your words and such. Okay, so I think I need to check the node version I'm using. So I think I'm using the latest one only. I think it's I'm using 10. Uh, if I'm not wrong, I have to check it still. Let's change the music. Let's the music play. Let's the music play. Okay, yeah. So we are using uh, node version 10.4.2. Makes sense. Okay, so for, uh, I think uh, we make a um, lot of progress till now. Um, yeah, there are a few things uh, we need to still fix. Uh, for example, this one, where it is, like in the events. Uh, over here, it shows a predicted e uh, event integer column, which we need to remove. Uh, and also we need to add the, over here, we also need to add created event uh, array of uh, events. So these are the uh, two things we need to work on. And uh, okay, so I think so. But today, uh, I think we made a lot of progress. We uh, did a lot of fixing also. Uh, earlier, uh, when we create uh, a new database table, um, it doesn't even uh, get created without an error. But now uh, we have fixed a lot of things, and now it gets uh, created quickly uh, within a few seconds. So that's nice. And there are other few things, uh, which uh, we, few minor things on which we worked on and get fixed. So. Yeah, so today live stream was very productive and uh, again, thank you very much guys for sticking around with me and uh, don't forget to follow me. Uh, so on the platform you are watching on, just hit the follow button and or, or hit the subscribe button. And again, thank you very much for watching and I will see you again. Bye bye.